Europe's colonization of the Americas actually began 1,000 years ago, 500 years before Christopher Columbus. Danish and Norwegian colonists settled Iceland and then Greenland. Leif Erikson arrived in Newfoundland in Canada briefly around 1000 AD, but the longer lasting Norse outposts were in Greenland and Iceland. Thus, the first contact between Europeans and na native North Americans occurs between the Norse and Inuit peoples in the Middle Ages. A note on the colors used from this point forward. Spanish routes are in yellow, Portuguese routes are in orange, English routes are in red, and French routes are in blue. As early as the 14th century, Spain and Portugal are connecting with islands out in the Atlantic Ocean. Spain is active in the Canary Islands. Meanwhile, Portugal expands uh, this early in the 14th century into the Madeira Islands. By 1440, Portugal has expanded to the Azores Islands. The Azores are a big step in exploration because they are so far out in the Atlantic Ocean. By 1482, Portugal has explored the west coast of Africa. Tragically, this will be the beginnings of the African slave trade. In 1492, Christopher Columbus sailed to the Canary Islands and then he shoots straight west across the expanse of the Atlantic Ocean in an attempt to reach India. He lands uh, on the island of San Salvador in the, in the Bahamas. Columbus believes he has arrived in India and the misnomer Indian is attributed to the natives of America. Columbus returns the next year in 1493 sailing near Hispaniola, modern Haiti and the Dominican Repu Republic, and Cuba. There are about one million natives on the island of Hispaniola at this time. In 1497, the English commissioned John Cabot to sail directly west from England. He cites Newfoundland in Canada. Also in 1497, Vasco da Gama clears the Cape of Good Hope around Africa and navigates the eastern coast of Africa, finding an alternative route to India. Columbus returns for a third voyage in 1498, and he sights the northern coastline of the South American continent. Amerigo Vespucci, whose first name, Amerigo, will christen the newly discovered continents, sails along the northeastern coast of South America in 1499. Spain continues to dominate exploration. Ponce de Leon explores the eastern coast of Florida in 1513, and Balboa reaches Panama in the same year for Spain. Balboa will be the first European to see the eastern edge of the Pacific Ocean. Cortez passes north of the Yucatan Peninsula and lands in Mexico. There he encounters the mighty Aztec Empire in 1519, a civilization of millions. The Spanish find cities in Mexico that are bigger than the cities in Europe. But Cortes nevertheless conquers the Aztecs and Mexico is brought into the Spanish Empire. Now France enters the American Exploration Theater in 1524. Verrazano sails up the Atlantic coast, the homeland of many Algonquin nations. Cabeza de Baca of Spain travels along the Gulf region from western Florida to near Galveston, Texas. He then spends time in the Texas interior of North America in 1528, moving among many different native peoples there. Further south, Spain conquers another powerful Native American civilization, the Incas. Francisco Pizarro brings Peru into the Spanish Empire in 1533. Spain has established sugar colonies in the Caribbean. African slaves are imported from West Africa to the sugar plantations of the Caribbean. So this is the beginnings of the African uh, slave trade in the sugar plantations of the Caribbean. 1535 
the Frenchman Cartier sails directly west from northwest France across the Atlantic Ocean. He explores the lower St. Lawrence River in the north in Canada. Spain is now active on the Pacific side of the American continents. In 1539, De Uoa sights the Pacific coastline of Mexico and Baja California. Spain's reach into the interior of North America spreads wider. Between 1539 and 1542, De Soto travels widely through the future southeastern United States. His long journey begins in Florida and goes westward across the Mississippi River. He brings pigs with him, a strange creature to the Native Americans. Pigs, cows, horses, and chickens harbor diseases that will decimate the populations of the Americas by 90%. Smallpox is the most notorious of these diseases. On the other side of North America, Coronado is simultaneously exploring the southwest between 1540 and 1542, finding the great Pueblo civilization of the southwest. 1565. The Spanish formed the colony of St. Augustine in Florida, the first permanent European settlement in the future United States. By this time, many Native American populations are crashing from smallpox, even before any direct contact is made with Europeans. Once robust populations, such as the one million natives on Hispaniola, have been reduced to a tiny fraction of their pre-contact size. Sir Walter Raleigh establishes the first English colony at Roanoke in North Carolina in 1585. In a few years, the colony will vanish with only the word Croatoan scratched on a tree, a reference to a local native nation. In 1588, Spain loses much of its fleet, the Armada, in a thwarted invasion of England, and Spain's sea power dominance is now in question. England and France begin to find new openings and new opportunities in the Americas. France is finding its niche in the Northeast. Samuel de Champlain explores the North between 1603 and 1609 pressing further down the St. Lawrence. His journey takes him to the lake in New York State that bears his name. On the New York side of the St. Lawrence is the powerful Iroquois Confederacy. On the Canadian side of the St. Lawrence is the Huron Nation. English Jamestown is established in 1607. French Quebec is established in 1608. The Englishman Henry Hudson sails up the river in New York State that bears his name in 1609. The following year, 1610, Hudson explores the great Canadian Bay that also bears his name. The French advance further into the north. Between 1615 and 1616, Samuel de Champlain continues further into Huron country in Canada citing Lake Huron and Lake Ontario. By 1616, the shape and expanse of the continents is taking form in the minds of Western powers. Much of the interior is a mystery, but the first footholds have been established.